still believes this? The one person that's been tormenting me my whole time here is the... I I gotta do this stupid art show with tomorrow. Peter, my dude, don't worry about this so much. You don't want to burn any bridges that might help you in the future. Just present your work, smile as you walk past them, and hopefully things will be just fine. Alright, hey man, I'm gonna head to the studio for best call my nerves. Well, there goes our security deposit. Jeez, Steven, you scared me. Uh, shit, yeah. Um, I'm sorry about that. I don't have my keys. I didn't know you were inside. You could have knocked. Ramen? Hey. I hate being that guy, but... Don't you think it's about time to stop letting this person torment you? I know you're a pacifist and all, but you're a grown man. You need to stand up for yourself. Can I ask you specifically what they've done to you? I just feel like if you talk about it, it may help you. Well, it's just like every time I see them in the hallway, you know, they're glaring me down. And get this, the other day, when I was walking through the hallway, they fucking bumped into me so hard I fell. I dropped all my books. It's just, it's little stuff like that, you know, man. Look, I hate that it's affecting you so much, though, man. Just relax. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're probably right. Okay, man, I gotta go get ready for this show. I'll see you there. First, I'd like to say thanks to all of you for coming. What a turnout. What a, what a turnout. Why would I, why would I write what a turnout? There's going to be two people here. <clears throat> I've always loved simplicity, but detail. And I like to think my work reflects that. But the colors, see, that's what these pieces are truly about. You see, they represent can I give you some advice? Professor, oh. Yes, I mean, please. You seem a bit nervous. Let me ask you, do you trust your art? Yeah. Okay, then you gotta act like it. Being an artist takes courage. So why don't you just throw away that overplanned script and go out there with your work and just speak from the heart? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Good evening.
Hey everyone, and thank you so much for coming out tonight. Uh, let's take a couple minutes to introduce our artist for tonight. First off, we have Peter Hamilton. You know, I I had this whole boring speech planned out for this thing, explaining what my art is supposed to convey and what it's supposed to say, but what I know now, all well, thanks to a certain professor, is that trusting yourself and trusting your own work is more important. I know now that having that courage as an artist is the most important thing. It's about getting over the little things, you know, whether it's locking yourself out of your own house and having to crawl through a window to get in, or having the courage to not be so ridiculously nervous at your own senior art reception just because the other artist is someone you've really admired for the last four years. Well, it's just like every time I see them in the hallway, you know, they're glaring me down. You get this the other day when I was walking through the hallway, they fucking bumped into me so hard I fell. I dropped all my books. It's just high school stuff like that, you know. Like, Some show, huh? Yeah, Look, I'm sorry if I embarrassed you or no, anything. No, 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 not at all. I mean, you know, I've had a crush on you for all these years. It's just every time I tried to come talk to you, you run away. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just... You intimidate me. I mean, look at you. Do you maybe just want to get out of here, go back to my place, hang out? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Dude, just seriously try knocking first next time. Hot pocket? <laughs> 